Good evening all. Uh, just want to make a quick, real quick, uh, video about um, how I'm going to deal with uh, communication between the handset and the uh, the BB-8 body and the BB-8 head. And I didn't want to go down the Bluetooth route because I, I was concerned about range and also interference. Um, so I looked at these XB modules, they're $27, I'm going to laugh. And then I did some, some Googling around and I found, found these guys, little uh, radio transceivers operating at 2.4 gigahertz. Um, so they allow two-way communication. Uh, the only downside to them is that they're rather fussy on the power delivery side, they need 3.3 volts and you have to attach a capacitor to help out with their, their, their high power spikes. But then I found these guys that provide a nice little breakout board that have a whole bunch of capacitors and a, uh, what do you call that? Step down regulator with a 3.3 volt regulator. So here I have them uh, set up. I have two Arduinos. Um, both are nanos, although one of them has a onboard USB and one of them one of them doesn't. Basically the same chip though. And then here I have the breakout board and the little transceiver. I've also thrown on an extra 10 um, nanofarad capacitor just to help them out a little bit more. I don't think that's necessary. Basically they, they communicate over SPI. And then if we go to the screen. So in this sketch, I've got a, I've got a, uh, a controller where I've got values for forward, backwards, leaning left and right, swiveling on the spot, nodding the head, twisting the head around, uh, a sound play and then a timestamp. Basically I take this um, structure and put it into a transmit data variable. Uh, then down here I go and set all the values and just for now I'm setting them to 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60 in millis. And then I transmit it. And then on the uh, the head side, because we've got the head and the body, both of them are going to have modules inside them. On the head side, I define the same structure and put it in receive data. And then here, when the radio is available, when it detects a transmission, it uh, collects, it reads all the data and then prints it out. And if I go to that one, here we go. So we can see we've got the 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60 values plus the timestamp. And then what I do is I take the timestamp and I transmit it back. And then on the transmitter side, after sending the data, I'm waiting for the uh, the timestamp to come back, which is there, and I take it away from the current time, and that basically tells me the round trip time. So if I look at that one, sending data, and then I'm receiving uh, the data in about 25 milliseconds. Uh, the really cool thing about this is that you can define these data pipes so I have a data pipe for the controller, the head and the body. And then what that allows me to do is the controller can write and then the body, the, the uh, what have I got here, the head is uh, writing on pipe one and the body is writing on pipe two. So if we go back and look at um, this I can see that I'm receiving this value from one because I only have right now I only have the the two modules so I can only simulate the controller and either the head or the body but if I go to the 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 body one and I upload that just takes a second so now I'm changing this one to respond as the body. And it does exactly the same as the head. It's exactly the same code, except I'm telling it to do its writing on a different pipe, on number two. So zero, one, two, instead of one. So if we now look at that, we can see that we're getting exactly the same payload 
with the millis. But if we look at the controller, we can see we're getting now a response from number two instead of number one. Um, I don't care about the round trip time. But what I am going to use this for is reporting back to the controller the battery level of the head and the body. And then also in the body, when the head hits an end stop or the drive unit gets over a certain, a certain angle that it's, it's starting to get a bit hairy in terms of uh, stability. And then in the controller, I will uh, have a vibration motor that tells me that, hey, your battery's getting low or you just hit an end stop. It allowed me to have some feedback there. So in the description of the video, I'll put a, uh, a paste bin of these um, free scripts. Actually, I only need to do the two because you can just change the writing pipe from one to two. Um, and links through to the modules to buy them online. Thanks for watching.